Hey everyone, Frankenstein Gaming coming at you with a new video and at last Pac-Man 99 has officially launched on the Nintendo Switch. They tweeted this out last night that it was coming out April 7th at about uh, 9 p.m. Eastern and it's 9.31 now and you can see it's live. Um, you were able to pre-download it ahead of time and we're going to see exactly how this will work out because, you know, it is a Pac-Man uh, Battle Royale per se, and I'm not sure how well we're gonna do, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. So see you shortly. So before we dive into the game, I just wanted to show you guys they did advertise in the trailer today. Yes, I have a lot of profiles, or yesterday. Um, you know, some paid DLC that you can get to unlock additional modes and some themes. So I wanted to check out if that was live now, and as you can see, it is. Wow, there's a lot here. Deluxe pack. Mode unlock, and then you can see all the themes. I guess if you just want to buy the individual themes, or if you just want to unlock the modes, or I'm assuming this deluxe pack is everything for $29.99 USD. And yeah, it looks like it is. So you get the Pac-Man game uh, for free, but then you can also have the private matches, CPU battles, score attack, blind time attack. But then you get access to the different themes that they have. So that looks like this, and like that and like that, and like so forth. So you can see there's a good amount of themes. We have New Rally, Namco Classic 1, Tower of Druaga, Namco Classic 2, Galaga, Big Dug, Genshi, and uh, Yaiki, Yiki Clans. I'm not sure how to say that. Yokai, Dragon Buster, Legend of Valkyrie, Cosmo Gang, The Video, Namco Classic 3, Rolling Thunder, Wonder Momo, Baraduke, uh, Xevious, Return of Ishtar, Namco Classic 4 and 5, and Bravo Man. So, logically, I'm going to buy this. So, give me one second. So, yes, I did buy all of the DLC. You have the CPU battle, score attack, blind attack. Obviously, I bought those so you can see because you can see them. I don't believe they're selectable. If not, uh, you can change your settings. So these are what the themes look like. Go, we'll go through them quick. Classic, vector, colorful, and it shows you like a background of what it looks like, and then zoomed in and what the other people will look like as well as that board. Um, frame bricks, kind of look like Legos. Pa pastel blocks. Igloo. There's a lot of themes. This actually was worth the money so far. Garden, Log House, New Rally X, Namco Classic 1. And again, I bought this because Tower of Draga. I bought this because I wanted to have an, a mode where I can play it offline and not have to worry about playing it online. Same. I did the same thing with Tetris 99 because I just like those games a lot and I feel like I want to just play single player and not have to worry about it, then why not, you know? Um, Galaga. I might actually play with the Galaga one. Dig Dug, Genshi, Yokai, Dragon Buster, Legend of Valkyrie, Cosmo Gang, the video, Amco Classic 3, Rolling Thunder, Wonder Momo, Xevious, Baraduke, Return of Ishtar, Amco Classic 4, Amco Classic 5, and Bravo Man. So, I guess maybe we should start the video with the regular one just to see, <laughs> and then maybe we'll change the theme after. And then, as you can see also, there's emblems uh, to pick from, and then I guess more to unlock. Oh, so you unlock these as you play with all those themes, and there's ones for getting scores, getting fruits in time attack mode. Um, I'm gonna set my emblem to that for now. Frightened, ca frightened uh, ghost, because I think it's cool. And then you get some of these as well, cool. Button settings, you can change those if you want to. The music background is pretty hot, I like that. I mean, I guess there's potential for them to add more in the future, like more game packs and themes. And maybe they'll do some collabs like Tetris 99 does. But as you can see, rank one, and we're gonna dive right in in just a second. All right, let's see if we can uh, do well. Finding match. Ooh, look at the little animation in the background, that's cool. I wonder if that changes based on your theme. I'm going to assume it does. Oh. Just like Tetris 99, you got the peeps up here, finding match, counting down, round one, speed zero, 99 out of 99. This music's catchy, man.
Oh, there's the classic music, dude. Wow, I already lost. <laughs> hey, 84th, right? I mean, that's better than nothing. Let's try this again. There we go, sending all the ghosts to peeps. Okay. That did not get planned the way I wanted it to. So I changed the theme, and as you can see, there's even the theme going on in the background there. That's really cool how they do it. Um, I kind of like that little nice touch there. And then now you can see it's going on in the background of the actual game too. I went with um, Namco Collection 4 because I like the emblem that you get just for playing with it um, or winning. I don't know if it's playing or winning, but it's a blue dragon, so I figured why not. And now we wait to see if we can become the champion or not. Oh, even the sounds are different. Oh my god, this is so worth it just for the themes because the sounds are based on the original games. Yeah, dude, this is good. Oh. So as you can see, for winning, or not winning, for just playing the theme, you get the new emblem. So I have this blue dragon amule now. Um, probably gonna equip that. And I ranked up from one to two. I don't know what that does, but that's cool. I think you just get, like, clout for playing, I guess, because your rank doesn't really do much other than that. But, uh, let's put the new emblem on. There it is. Now we got a new emblem. Okay, everyone, so that was Pac-Man 99 for the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, I have to improve, but, uh, it's a lot of fun so far. I hope I get to get better than, you know, rank 80. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what kind of future videos you want to see, and uh, see you guys next time. Brainstein Gaming out.